The price to cash flow ratio. How much do you pay for one rupee of a company's cash flow? This is what the price to cash flow ratio or PCF ratio tells us. For example, a stock with a PCF ratio of 25 means you are paying 25 rupees for one rupee of cash. The higher the PCF, the more you are paying for a rupee of cash and the more expensive the stock. A company's cash flow and a company's earnings are closely related. There are three sources of differences. The first difference comes from non-cash earnings such as depreciation. The second difference comes from cash used for investing in a company's future growth. The third difference comes from cash used to pay dividends to shareholders. Even though a company's cash flow and earnings are not the same, they should follow each other closely. If you notice a company's earnings going up, but its cash flow going down, then this should be investigated closely. Sometimes this could be the case for a fast growing company that uses its cash for expansion. This may be a good thing if the company has good investment opportunities. It may be a bad thing if they are investing in bad projects. It is also possible that earnings are manipulated. Cash is more difficult to manipulate than earnings, and this can cause a divergence between the two. Sometimes you will see a term called cash earnings per share. This is slightly different to total cash flow. Cash earnings per share only looks at cash generated from regular operations. It does not include cash for investments or dividends. The cash earnings per share should be closest to the actual earnings per share. The price to cash flow ratio formula is as follows. It is the market price per share divided by the cash flow per share. The market price per share is simply the stock price. Let's look at an example of Bajaj Auto. Suppose Bajaj Auto's current stock price is rupees 3135 and their most recent cash flow per share is rupees 143. Using our formula gives us a PCF ratio of 21.9. How does the PCF ratio compare to other indicators such as price to earnings or price to book value? As discussed, a company's cash flow and earnings are closely related. Typically, the price to earnings ratio is more commonly used than the price to cash flow ratio to value a company. The price to cash flow is valuable in cases where there is a large divergence between earnings and cash flow. The price to book value ratio is the market price per share divided by the book value per share. The book value per share is the value left over if a company's assets are sold and its debts are paid off. It is mostly relevant for firms close to liquidation. If earnings and cash flow are negative, both the price to earnings and price to cash flow ratio are meaningless. In this case, the price to book value can be used instead. The biggest advantage of the price to cash flow ratio over both the price to earnings and price to book value is that cash is difficult to manipulate. Earnings can be manipulated with non-cash items such as depreciation or aggressive accruals. The book value can, manip can be manipulated with balance sheet items whose current value is not the same as the value stated on the accounts. This is why the price to cash flow ratio is so useful. It allows us to ensure that there is real cash behind a company's earnings. In the live data section, you can find the stocks with the most attractive price to cash flow ratios. And finally, please take a moment to read through this disclaimer.